the enlightenment has been, you know, up against the ropes being pounded for decades and decades and over a century. And there's really not been an excellent champion. I mean, there is just blatant irrationality in the humanities, in the social sciences, a lack of objectivity and almost glorifying the rejection of objectivity in the name of, you know, critical race theory and postmodern readings of literature. And it's, it's just, it's crazy in its irrationality. Ayn Rand is, is I think, the only, she's, if, if the Renaissance is the rebirth of reason, the enlightenment, it's coming of age, it's her philosophy that's the fulfillment of what a real defense, um, a genuine conception of what reason is and involves, what faith is as, as the antipode, and then all the philosophy that goes with it. She's this figure, historically, who's carrying the torch of, from the Enlightenment era, but she's shining it into little dark holes that you know, the Enlightenment figures never, you know, that they weren't there yet. It's a good topic to have at this moment in history. Of course, when we have some of our greatest cities are on fire, in effect. <laughs>